pound for pound boxing channel hit that like button hit that subscribe button comment below share do all of that it's your host f merit we're gonna get right to it click the thumbs up button at the bottom of the screen subscribe to the channel for all things boxing news rumors this that and the third but errol spence i think he can beat canelo alvarez i think he can stop canelo alvarez i think he can knock out canelo alvarez if he does a couple things now granted Canelo, uh, Earl Spence is coming off of a car accident, coming off of a phenomenal victory over Danny Garcia. Had did not slow down a beat, hasn't missed a beat. He looks great. He looks like a complete fighter. The jab was working great, mixing it up, going to the body. He looked phenomenal. Now this is my thing. He brought he brought Blu-ray back, so the weight was not an issue. Made weight comfortably, went right into it. Great stamina. He was busy the whole fight. He took rounds off because not because he was getting tired. But maybe he was just playing with Errol Spence. I mean, playing with uh, Danny Garcia. And that's what his, his trainer was saying. Don't play with him. You know, if you can get him out of there, get out of there. You know, it is what it is. But he took his time. He looked phenomenal. He looks like the best welterweight in the game right now. We know he walks around heavy. He, we know he rehydrates and he can go up. Now, the rumor is he wants to fight He wants to fight Canelo Alvarez at 160. Canelo said, I can make 160 for Errol Spence. He's interested in fighting Errol Spence. One thing that I think Canelo is not really banking on, this isn't like an Amir Khan type of welterweight. This is a big welterweight that really should be fighting at 54, number one. Number two, Errol Spence is on a good little streak. Phenomenal performances, right? When, even when he fought Mikey Garcia, 12-0. When he fought Danny Garcia, I give Danny maybe one, maybe two rounds. It was a it was a landslide. It was a unanimous. It was a true unanimous decision, right? But um, another thing that he he didn't really take into account that when Errol Spence has Blu-ray, he looks like a different fighter from when he didn't have Blu-ray. He Errol Spence didn't have Blu-ray in his corner, who is his strength and conditioning coach. He didn't have in his corner for um, the Sean Porter fight. And you see how, how that played a factor. He had trouble making weight. Um, you know, he, he just was, he said he felt sluggish. But now he's back. Another thing is he, is momentum. Errol Spence is going to be coming into this fight with momentum. I think the best thing for them to do would not be an immediate fight for Canelo and uh, for Canelo Alvarez and Errol Spence I think the best thing is Canelo go ahead and fight his WBC mandatory and I think Yildrum or whatever I don't know the guy's name I think that's his name and then Errol Spence can fight his IBF mandatory I think it's a top ranked guy I'm not sure who it is but nonetheless then Errol Spence goes in there knocks him out Canelo knocks his uh, knocks his mandatory out then they meet in the summer because Errol Spence, he's, he said he wanted to fight. He was supposed to fight three times last year. He said he wants to fight three times in 2021. So we get that fight in early because Canelo said he's coming back probably was it February, March time or whatever. So that's, that's going to be an easy knockout for him. And he's probably going to want to fight in May again, April, something like that. Cinco de Mayo weekend. Um, he could do it. I think it's a great matchup. I think it all depends on. We know what Canelo's going to do. We know what type of Canelo he's going to come. He's going to come in there. He's going to probably rehydrate, be heavy. He's going to come in counterpunching. Earl Spence has a great work uh, rate, great jab, but he's fight. He's going to be fighting a bigger man that hits a lot harder than everybody else has hit Earl Spence. Earl Spence honestly just wants a challenge, but I think he has the tools and the ability to be able to stop Canelo Alvarez. I guarantee you Floyd Mayweather will be coaching him, not literally coaching him, but giving him pointers on how to beat Canelo and what what has changed from when Canelo fought him, but also showing him the same things that he still does out of habit. That's one of the things that, that, that Earl Spence can use to his advantage. Canelo, I'm not getting into Canelo, what he can do. I, this video is about Earl Spence beating Canelo Alvarez. Now, anything is possible. Maybe Earl has bitten off a little bit more than he can chew. And, you know, time will tell. It, it will reveal itself. But nonetheless, you guys let me know what you guys think. If you think Earl Spence can stop Canelo Alvarez, if you think Canelo can stop Earl Spence, let me know. Hit the like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button for all things boxing. Comment below. Share. Do all of that. It's your host, F. Merritt. Pound for Pound Box. Ah, I'm sorry. Pound for Pound Box channel. I'm out.